So have you ever given much thought as to what it might take to clean a window? Not did I until this week when I learned of threats being made against a local window washer to keep him from working. Austin Thayer is 24 years old. He says he's happy doing what he does, which is washing windows. I've been doing this for two and a half years. Like, this is what I'm good at. Austin works for a company called New View Window Cleaning. His boss is Dominic. And it's basically just cleaning the customer's windows or gutters and keeping them happy. Dominic hired Austin after Austin said he was fired from a different window cleaning company called Squeegee Pros. Austin says it was because they said he had a bad attitude. But that pain was now behind him. His future was looking clear with his new job until his new employer, Dominic, was sent this letter from Austin's old employer. Well, the letter was basically a cease and desist letter from his attorney stating that if I didn't fire him immediately, they'd be taking us to court for breach of contract. When I thought that was <laughs> a bit ridiculous. Then a second letter arrived. That letter now demanded proof that Austin was not being employed as a window washer. The letter also threatened future legal action. There's no customer list that we're privy to or anything like that. The lawyer who wrote these letters politely declined to be interviewed for this story. I emailed Squeegee Pros wanting to ask them about the need for a non-compete for a window washer. The office manager wrote me back saying she cannot comment on a legal matter. Non-competes prohibit an employee from working for a competitor and they are found in a lot of employment contracts. They protect company secrets and basically prohibit employees from taking business and clients with them when they leave. The lawyers I spoke with told me the courts here in North Carolina do uphold them so long as they're limited in time, scope, and geographical area. This one, though, doesn't mention area, and for that reason, it may be unenforceable. Here's the thing. Austin doesn't set up jobs. He says he isn't stealing old clients and says he didn't get any special instruction on how to wash windows at his old job. Oh, and one more thing. How's his attitude? <laughs> his attitude is great. I typically don't do employment related stories, but this one intrigued me. And since I got involved, the issue seems to have been dropped. Although Dominic and Austin say they both know a lawsuit to prevent Austin from washing windows could still be filed. And I will certainly let you know if one is. All right, turning back.